What we're going to be looking at here is debt restructuring by modification of terms of a loan here. And it's going to be for the example here where we've got a gain to the debtor here when reducing some debt obligation or a notes payable here. And for example here on 1231-20X1, Bank B enters into a debt restructuring agreement here with Corporation A. Now Corporation A is experiencing financial difficulties here. So Bank B restructures a million dollar loan receivable that they have with Corporation A here and it was issued at par and the interest is paid up to date on this loan here. Now the note is restructured as follows here. So generally when we're restructuring these loans here we got four elements to look at. So number one here they're going to be reducing the principal obligation from one million dollars down to seven hundred thousand dollars. So Corporation A would only have to pay the bank B back here seven hundred thousand dollars at maturity here uh, on the one million dollar obligation or note that they have outstanding standing here or a loan that they have with a bank uh, B here. And the second thing there's going to be they're going to be extending the maturity date here from 1231-20X1 to 1231-20X5 or four years out. The note or the loan was due here in 20X1. Corp A couldn't pay it so they come to the terms here they're going to extend this loan here for four years. And point three here they're going to re be reducing the interest rate uh, on this uh, in it for this note or this loan from 12 percent to 8 percent per year here. And then generally you'd have a reduction or a deferral of accrued interest here. Well in this example the interest here is paid up to date so it's not going to be required here. So let's go look at what we're talking about here. Now normally with these restructuring agreements here these loans you're going to have to come up with a new amortization schedule. But we're going to be looking at it in two different ways here. So let's first look at the nor uh, what we'd be typically looking at here. So just off this schedule here, uh, what is due here? We'd have a balance, uh, $1 million notes payable here by Corporation A to Bank B. And they're going to uh, only be paying it back here the $700,000 amount. That's the maturity amount here when it's restructured for years later. So let's look at what we'd be talking about. Again, our interest rate here was reduced from 12% to 8% here. So uh, the interest cost on this loan uh, by um, Corporation A to Bank or Bank B would we be receiving on this loan here would be and Corporation A would be paying would be the 8% times $700,000. That's the maturity value here. So the cash payment that have to make for interest each uh, year here for the next four years would be 8% again times the $700,000 maturity value of the loan or $56,000 here per year for a total of $224,000. Okay, so now we can this is what we'd be typically doing here. We'd look at the two, uh, total future, uh, future cash flows after restructuring here. So what would be required here? Well, uh, a Corporation A would have to pay $700,000 back in principal plus the $224,000 in interest here. So the total future cash flows would be the sum total of those. The principal plus interest, $924,000. That's what they'd be paying back here uh, for this restructured loan to Bank B here, Corporation a. So now what we do is we take a look at it here. The less, okay, less our total res, our total restructuring, pre-restructuring carrying value is one million dollars on the loan, and the debtor records a gain here and reduces the carrying amount of a payable here by seventy-six thousand dollars. So how do we calculate that? Well, they would have to pay one million dollars here. It was restructured, and the new total future cash flows here is nine hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars. So they're going to experience a gain, the difference between one million dollars uh, that they would have had to pay here, and uh, now the new total uh, pre-structuring agreement here of nine hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars. So they would be reducing the payable here by seventy-six thousand and recording again. So let's go up and look at how we'd uh, record this here. Okay, again here, Corporation A, the debtor, they're going to have a gain after the restructuring on a debt or this note's payable. So we had the $1 million here that was due. Uh, we we're going to reduce our new carrying value here is going to be $924,000 and the difference between the one million and the nine hundred twenty-four thousand is going to give us this seventy-six thousand dollar gain. So let's look at how we'd record that here. So first, looking at our gain here on a debt on this debt restructuring again on our income statement. So we had the notes payable here for one million dollars, and then the principal 
that would have to be paid back here at seven hundred thousand and the interest two hundred and twenty four thousand dollars so taking um, the one million the principal interest here is less than the notes payable one million dollars so we have a gain here of seventy six thousand dollars so we credit our gain here on our income statement here for seventy six thousand dollars and then the other thing we'd have to do is we'd have to um, come up with a new carrying value on this note here so we had uh, our notes payable restructured here liability on the balance sheet would have been sitting here at a million dollars here now on 1231 20x1 same date we experience, uh, uh, recorded the gain here. We'd also record here a reduction on our notes payable by the amount of that gain here of $76,000. So we reduced our notes payable uh, for $1 million here by $76,000. So we got, uh, we'd have our new carrying value here of $924,000. Now, each of the next four years, we're going to have to pay that 8%, or Corp A is going to have to pay that eight new revised interest rate here of 8% times the $700,000 um, uh, maturity value of that loan here, that notes payable, so for $56,000 each year here. So uh, we cre our credit or reduce our cash account for that, and then we'd be reducing our notes payable here by that same amount here, debit a notes payable here from 56,000 each year. So when we get down to the end here on 1231 20x5 when this note is payable we would have had a balance here in our notes payable of $700,000 here uh, by Corporation A here so they would be debiting that out here remove that off the books here by $700,000 and then they would be paying cash here to Bank B by $700,000. So Corp A would reduce their cash account here by $700,000. Now well, our entry here was based on an imputed interest rate here of zero. So the new carrying value here of um, $924,000 if you do your arithmetic equals the discounted cash flows of $924,000. Okay, so we took care of it here looking at it in terms of taking our gain all in the, at the date of restructuring here. We recognize our total gain here at the date of restructure. Now let's go in and that was by crediting our gain here on our income statement and debiting or reducing our notes payable here, our loan on our balance sheet by the same amount here, $76,000 that we calculated. Now let's look at the, go back down to our amortization schedule. Now let's look at the case here. We're going to amortize this gain out here. Now we would, what you're going to do here again, we've got the balance of a million dollars and we have want to amortize it down here to $700,000 in maturity uh, of this loan here, this notes payable when it's restructured. So what we would do here, um, and again we got our cash flows showing here, so this is what we know. We've gone over that again. Our cash, our payments here, our interest payments here, the 8% times $700,000, we got a fifth $56,000 worth of interest payments that we had each period here. So what we want to do is we want to amortize this and we're going to have to come up with an effective interest rate here for amortizing. And in this case with this gain, you're going to come up with a negative interest rate here. So what we would do, let's just go and look at how we'd calculate this effective interest rate and how we'd amortize this. So what we would do, you take your financial calculator, okay, and you put in the uh, number of years that we're looking at and four in this case here, and our present value here here our carrying value at the at is one million dollars here that's the original carrying value here so you put that in here and then you have the payment here so this would be a minus amount that was that fifty six thousand uh, dollar cash payment for each of those four years here and then you have the future value or what you're going to have to pay here at the when this note becomes mature well that's seven hundred thousand dollars put that in and hit your interest uh, calculator here or on your calculator here and you're going to come up with an effective interest rate but what it's going to be here is a minus interest rate so the effective new effective interest rate here is a minus uh, minus 2.14567 percent here so to amortize this here all and this is where we do just a little arithmetic here so we start out with our beginning balance here of a thousand or a million dollars take a time the effective interest rate here and you're going to come up with your effective interest expense for the first year here of a minus $21,458. So 
what we would do is do just a little room. We got a minus quantity here, and we'd be subtracting that here from our payment amount of fifty-six thousand dollars. So what we're going to a negative times a negative is going to be a positive here. It's just doing a little arithmetic, and the amount of principal or an amortization here on this notes payable here would be the combined sum. Fifty-six thousand plus twenty-one thousand four hundred fifty-eight is going to give us seventy-seven thousand four hundred and fifty-eight dollars here. So add that to the beginning balance here of a million or excuse me you would subtract that here from your beginning balance here of a million dollars and you're going to come up with your new carrying uh, value here for the next year the second year of nine hundred twenty two thousand five hundred and forty two dollars take that amount times a negative effective negative interest rate you're going to come up with your uh, effective interest rate here for the period add that to the payment uh, cash payment interest here fifty six thousand you come up with your new principal amount here that you're going to be reducing reducing your uh, balance by here. So you just go and amortize it through this period up to from $1 million down to $700,000. So our total effective interest here was $76,000. And remember, that was the gain that we're recognizing here, that million dollars, um, the million dollars here less the $924,000 uh, total future cash flow. So that was the gain of $76,000. So our total payment amount here for the cash payments was 224000 adding our effective interest here of total gain of 76000 and you get our the principal that your reduction here of $300,000. So we've amortized it down here from a million down to $700,000 using this effective interest rate method. And again, the calculator here to calculate that minus effective interest uh, on this loan here. All right, so let's go and look at how we record this here. Again, Corp A, the debtor here, we're going to have this gain, and we're going to have an amortized gain after the restructuring here. So let's just look at it in this terms here. We have the notes payable here that's restructured on our balance sheet here, and we're going to have our cash account here, and then we're on our income statement, we're going to recognize a gain here. So let's just look at what we've done here at the beginning or when we started here. So we have $1 million carrying value on our notes payable here in 1231X1 here. And what we want to do is we want to amortize this amount here uh, through the next four years here. We want to reduce this notes payable. So what we would do, and let's look at it just in terms of our amortization schedule. So let's start out with our cash account here, the restructured notes payable. What we would do, we have that payment amount here. Remember, that's what we have off our amortization schedule. That was that $56,000 uh, cash payment here each period. That was the 8% times the reduced or the $700,000 maturity value. So that we would credit our cash account for that here. So we got a credit here. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to deal with this uh, notes payable here, the restructured, where we're going to be reducing that here. We're going to amortize it, it down. So we can go off our amortization schedule and that was that a reduction of principal that we calculated that starting out with 77458 and then going down here to the last year here, 72578 So that's what we would debit or reduce our notes payable by each period here or for each year here. So okay. So and then the other thing here for each year here, this is where the gain. This is this amortization here, the gain. That was that net it's actually the gain we can look at it as a reduction of our interest expense. And remember that was that effective interest rate, minus two point one four five six seven percent here. So we would credit our gain here by the amount that we amortize that interest expense just going down to our interest uh, our if our amortization schedule starting out with the 21,458 and going down here to 16,578 total amount here of $76,000 so that was our total gain here you can see that we credit our recognized the gain each year here for each year we're reckoning our amortizing the gain so we're matching it's more the matching principle here rather than looking at all our gain here in the beginning of the first year when we restructured it we're spreading that gain out over uh, the four years here using this effective interest rate method okay so we got our credit here to our gain we got our credit here to the cash account here uh, 
payment on those uh, our cash payments on that note here and our credits here are going to equal our debits or balance with our debits here are on a reduction in notes payable so the reduction in notes payable if we hadn't looked at that that just comes off or again off our amortization schedule here starting out with 77,458 and going on downward so we get down here to the fourth year here so what are after amortizing our notes payable here we're sitting at seven hundred thousand dollar balance here and then we're gonna have to pay off the notes payable here so what we would do is just credit that or debit that out here take our notes payable off the books here uh, debit that here for seven hundred thousand dollars and then we'd have to make the cash payment here uh, de credit our cash payment here for seven hundred thousand dollars okay so that takes care of looking at um, looking at it in two ways here of uh, amortize in, in this place here we're looking at amortizing our gain over the four years here and then uh, originally we looked at the first case uh, we amortized our gain we didn't amortize our gain we just recognized the total gain in the first year that was that seventy six thousand dollars and then we would have uh, reduced our uh, uh, notes payable by the amount of that gain but here in this uh, second way here we actually amortize that over the four-year period using a negative interest rate okay so that takes care of our debt restructuring by the modification of, of the terms of a loan where we're looking at a gain to the debtor here by reducing the debt obligation or the in this case the notes payable all right so that takes care of our, our an example